Hey, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Laquan Williams, and in this video, I wanted to do a review of the current episode of Superman that just happened last night, which was um, the Superman and Lois uh, season one finale. See, it's a uh, season one, episode fifteen in total of the amount of episodes that they've had this first season. The title of the episode is called "The Last Sons of Krypton." Um, th there will be a season two. It's going to be airing in November, look around that time, I believe. Um, on the CW TV network, obviously, along with The Flash and other shows that they have on there. They're all superhero shows, such as The Legends of Tomorrow, uh, DC Legends of Tomorrow, uh, The Flash, Batgirl, Batwoman, Supergirl, and I think that's it. Um, oh, and also, um, some upcoming show, which is a superhero show called Naomi, um, that's going to be on there. Uh, other shows like Green Arrow, Supernatural, Black Lightning, they're all done, so they're no longer on air anymore. They've read their final episodes. Um, the Naomi show is supposed to be based off of a little Superman, um, cameo or something. The girl has, uh, she's a teenager, she comes to Superman's town, and he, because of that, she gets some type of freak reaction. Obviously, lands her to get power somehow, I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, I, also, there was supposed to be a live-action version of the Powderpuff Girls, but, uh, it looks like that might be cancelled because Chloe Bennett has left the show as one of the main actresses on the show playing the three Powderpuff Girls, obviously, she's playing one of the three, with two other girls, I don't know their names, I'm not familiar with them, but she's gonna be gone on the show, and they said that she might be coming back to Marvel, playing on the, um, the Invaders, somehow it's supposed to be on Disney+, Plus. I guess she's gonna come back on and be, um, Sky, slash, um, Daisy, slash, Earthquake, slash, Quake, which is obviously her superpowers, that she has, obviously, to literally, like, crack the Earth, because she's so powerful, obviously, and cause a massive earthquake and destroy planets, I think they called her this destroyer of worlds, if I'm not mistaken, in the future. Obviously, because she was became so powerful and uh, much more evil. But um, that's what's going to happen. So that's what it's taking place. Superman Lois is going to have a season um, two. F um, that's going to come out very soon. So on this episode, obviously with season finale, we know already that Morgan Edge obviously is the Eradicator. Um, he basically has become much more powerful than, than he's ever been. He's obviously very more much more dangerous than he was. He obviously has been creating more armies of obviously um, the human beings and the people of Smallville and um, taking over their body and their consciousness. He also did a Metropolis as well, what by um, implanting um, the uh, Kryptonian, obviously alien uh, consciousness of the of the of the crypt Kryptonian people, obviously inside the the minds and the bodies of obviously regular human beings, like invasion of the body snatchers. His father um, took over um, Superman's youngest son, uh, Jordan's body, and they obviously were trying to fight, to, um, obviously to get him out, out somehow. Um, he was able to do that, just like how General Zod took over Superman's body a couple weeks ago with his consciousness. Uh, they would, they, they randomly brought him back. He was there was a mention of him the whole entire show until a couple weeks ago when he took over, obviously Superman's body and, and obviously trying to control his mind. He was able to eventually fight him off. With the help of uh, Lois and obviously um, John Henry Irons and Jordan was able to do the same to get Zeta Rose, who's obviously uh, Morgan Edge's uh, Kryptonian father slash real father, out of obviously his mind. They were able to do that, um, and um, Leslie Lard didn't get away again. They have her captured in custody, so she's still there. They didn't show what they did to Morgan Edge after the show was over when they stopped him. Um, we'll see what happens on the rest of the show. So basically, what's going to happen obviously is that. Um, um, on the show uh, moving forward in season two, um, Morgan Edge most likely will be back. Leslie Lars still obviously in custody. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, more, Superman was not able to fix this Fortress of Solitude's crystal that was broken that obviously was allowing him to talk to his father. So they buried it obviously in their, in their backyard on their farm in Smallville and, and uh, so they can remember him. They had a little memorial service with him, his kids, and obviously Lois Lane, his wife right here. And that's what happened. Uh, John Henry Irons uh, looked like he was going to die in the show, but um, it, it was kind of like uh, reminiscent to Iron Man and, and the Infinity Wars. Um, when Iron Man was falling from the sky, Tony Stark's suit, and obviously Jarvis told him that they had no more power energy left, and his energy um, reserves were depleted, and, and um, he said that he thought he obviously mentioned, like, this is basically the end for him. I think it was in the first Avengers movie Tony, where Tony Stark was falling from the sky, and the Hulk grabbed him and saved him. Uh, and jumped off a building. I think that's what happened. This happened similar to what happened in this episode where obviously um, John Henry Irons was falling from the sky literally out in space um, after he helped Superman throw his um, 
hammer at a bunch of uh, Kryptonians who were taking over the bodies of American U.S. soldiers from the DOD, obviously. Um, and after he did that, um, with this, the solar flare power technology that he has, he was able to save, knock them out the way. Then obviously they went to go fight Morgan Edge, but that's obviously what happened. You thought he died, and then Superman flew out of the, out of um, back from taking out Morgan Edge, and he saved John Henry Irons at the last minute, so he's still alive. Um, he stopped Morgan Edge while using the solar flare and John Henry Irons hammer that he threw, and he was able to land from about thousands of miles away. But unfortunately, in order for that to happen, he had to be in space, obviously, to gain a much of a velocity and speed. And Superman had to grab Morgan Edge from uh, the behind and hold on to him while the impact of the hammer was flying straight towards them, kind of like Thor's hammer, um, Mjolnir. Uh, I know I'm saying the name kind of wrong, but I know the name, obviously, of Thor's hammer. It was like that, but obviously John, John Henry Irons has a bigger, obviously, hammer. And um, uh, it's just like that, but obviously it's not like similar to Thor's hammer, which is obviously he can call it and wield it. He, he can, but it's not like, uh, it's magnetic. It's not like Thor's hammer, kind of like a, it's a part of him, basically. But that's basically what happened. Um, it stopped Morgan Edge. He's still alive. Um, so is Leslie Lar. They, um, I think they destroyed most of the ex-Kryptonite that he had it stockpiled over in the mines. I don't know if there's any left where he can get to it and if, they're, if they destroyed his um, Fortress of Solitude so he obviously can go back there. It looks like they were able to um, possibly, they, they, they might have done that. We'll see what happens, obviously. Um, the uh, J um, Jordan was saved, obviously. He's fine. And um, uh, they got Zeta Rose, who was Morgan Edge's father, out of his consciousness, his mind and body. I don't know where he is, if he can come back somehow, and also will General Zod be back, and if he can take control over somebody's body, or if it's possible, I think General Zod might end up taking over Morgan Edge's body, and possibly Zeta Rose could take over Leslie Lara's body, it's possible that that could take place in the future. I thought the episode was good, but I was surprised, I thought Morgan Edge was actually um, going to die. Uh, I thought John Henry Irons was going to die as well, because it looked like he was when he was falling from the sky, his whole suit was obviously out of power his ai system uh, i think her name's jasmine or something she was telling him that she, they had no more power left and they were gonna fall and that was basically it and he, he said that he did everything he could and he was happy and he was crying and he, he missed his daughter and said that they they did it they stopped obviously for what happened in his time from happening in 2021 because obviously he's from the future obviously and what happened over there he said is happening here but obviously superman wasn't the bad guy it was morgan edge she was taking over the whole entire world and Metropolis and Smallville and making his armies obviously with ex kryptonite and um, uh, trying to create a, the planet of Krypton, the actual planet um, on Earth while bringing it there. And he was obviously not successful. Um, he's the, obviously the eradicator now, he had more, much more power, but it looks like that's obviously gone. So uh, we'll see what happens with that, what they do with him. Um, Laura, um, excuse me. Um, Lois Lane's dad is stepping down from the DOD. Um, that's what's happening. He's going to spend time with his family, so I don't know. He'll be still around, obviously, the DOD, but he won't be active anymore, which means he won't go out in the field and be a lot around any, obviously, active threats. He'll, the, the soldiers will go instead of him. They, John Henry Irons was offered a position slash um, um, job at the DOD. He says he can't take it, obviously, because of Lois Lane reminding him of his dead wife because she's obviously... It looks exactly like her, basically, and she is a Lois, but obviously on another their own their planet in the future. And obviously, at the end of the the move the, the episode, his daughter came out for a space pod ship, crashed in in front of a uh, Superman and Lois and uh, the Clark Kent family. Obviously, their backyard and their on their farm. And he was surprised to see his daughter walk out. And John Henry Irons got to hug his daughter, and he was surprised she was still alive, just like the rest of us were, because he assumed she was dead. Um, so I was a surprise at the end. So she's going to be on the cast now. She saw Lois Lane. She called her mom and looked obviously very shocked and surprised because she said, because she's to believe that her mother is dead. But obviously her mother is Lois Lane in, in another another um, uh, in another lifetime, another time, obviously, because they're from the future. So she's dead in that time, that version of Lois Lane, which was killed by Superman, obviously, in that time. But that's obviously something that's, that's going to take place. It's, it was a surprise. So that's what's going to happen. Um, it's right here on screen ran is saying what to expect obviously for Superman Lois 2 it was renewed back in March uh, the season 2 was renewed uh, was um, announced in March 2021 um, literally about um, let's see a month after the, the show premiered in February um, and this is what it says it says that 
Thanks to an early renewal, uh, audiences can expect Superman Lois to return for Season 2. Um, here's every update for the Arrowverse series, including release date, cast, and story details. Superman Lois premiered on uh, February 23, 2021, and expanded the CWT D DC TV franchise into the iconic small town setting of Smallville. The, um, the show is instantly in a critical success and is, is uh, consistently one of the Arrowverse's most watched programs. Despite being an admittedly disruptive release schedule, obviously they went on a bunch of breaks because of COVID, and they obviously went on regular breaks just, I guess, I don't know why. Obviously, after that happened, they went on a, a hiatus, but they went, a couple, couple, they went on a couple breaks a couple of months, weeks ago, which I thought was kind of weird and random, but that was to make sure that their audience was going to watch Supergirl. That's what they did. They took the show off the air for a couple of weeks, so Supergirl would take their time slot, and I guess they would bring it back on a couple weeks later after Supergirl was halfway done. That's what it looks like from they had their hiatus um, a couple of weeks ago. A couple of um, random ones here. Two episodes, and they go on hiatus for like two, three weeks. But the one that they went on in, uh, I think it was April, I think. Uh, I think it was early April. It was because of uh, production got stopped because of a COVID scare for, for that some crew members got. And because of that... The show obviously was off the air for a couple of weeks because of that, um, and they stopped production. So that's what's happening. Um, Superman Lois is a, is a departure from the typical Man of, St Man of Steel adaption. Rather than depict Clark Kent's origins, the show focuses on a more m a mature stage in the hero's life. The basic premise is that Clark and Lois move back to Smallville with their two t twin teenage boys after Jordan, their youngest son, displays evidence, pow uh, evidence of Kryptonian power. Season 1 of the Arrowverse series saw the family become entangled in a plot involving Morgan Edge, who is the Eradicator, also Superman's Kryptonian brother, um, stepbrother, same uh, same mother but different dad. Um, he, re he revealed himself to also be a Kryptonian. Morgan Edge is a Kryptonian, but with much more sinister motivations than Superman. Likely thanks to a strong uh, critical reception, the CW uh, renewed Superman Lois um, for season two in early March after just airing a single episode. So after the first episode, they... They did that. Um, they gave it the renewal. Although 2001, 2020 through 2021 uh, was an unusual year for television shows, they t thanks to production delays caused by COVID-19, audiences can hopefully look forward to a more regular broadcast season for 2021 through 2022. Here's what Superman and Lois Season 2 will fit in. Oh, uh, where it will fit in. Typically, the CW releases its biggest shows in the fall lineup. However, Superman and Lois won't likely premiere until 2022, most likely January. There are several reasons for this. Uh, for starters, the show extended far beyond the usual main broadcast season. In the past, she, the series like The Flash and Arrow, Green Arrow, aired from early October until late May. In other words, Arrowverse shows usually have several months between seasons. This is time... This time is important for production, but also because it gives the cast and crew a bit of a break. The other reason why Superman and Lois won't likely premiere until 2022 is that the new the network has a full schedule uh, going into the fall. Star Girl season two only premiered on August 10th and will be uh, broadcast well until September. The second half of Supergirl season six will also be airing into the fall, with a series finale scheduled for September 21st, 2021. By October, the network's primetime sh uh, slots will be already full, thanks to the return of Arrowverse shows like The Flash and Batwoman, not to mention other hits like Riverdale, leaving no room for Superman and Lois in the lineup. They also forgot to mention Legends of Tomorrow as well. Um, although the plot details about Superman and Lois are currently slim, audiences can expect the next installation to continue from the Season 1 finale. The cast will likely be essentially the same as it, it was in Season 1. Um... Uh, in, in season one installment, however, Sophia ha ha Hasbeck was promoted uh, for the next installment, so likely Chrissy Pe Peppo will play a much larger role in the show go going forward, which makes sense sh since she and Lois are business partners. Yet yeah, the, they're a uh, Gazette slash um, uh, the Smallville Gazette, I think that's what they call it. Uh, their paper, their newspaper that they run. That's also the surprise of. John Harry Iron's daughter Natalie suggests that she will be a major part of the season two plot. There have been some other clues about Superman Lois season two. A Central City reference uh, was hinted in Superman in season four, in episode fourteen of last week. That hinted Superman Lois may feature a Flash villain, and Supergirl friends are no doubt wondering if any of that show's character, uh, char if any of the, that show's characters will end up in Smallville after Supergirl series finale. Likely Superman. 
and Lois Season 2 will also feature some sort of crossover episode, although there are no firm plans as of yet, no one has, as of yet. Yeah, I, I would be very surprised. Supergirl obviously could show up on the show, obviously, and that most likely will happen next season. I expect The Flash to be on there as well, and also other characters from possibly Stargirl and Batwoman as well, because in the next season for all these shows, they're doing crossover episodes, mini crossover episodes, and five different episodes for these shows. They said that that was going to take place with The Flash, obviously Batwoman, uh, Stargirl, and obviously Legends of Tomorrow. It's going to happen, obviously, on... Superman and Lois as well to get the characters to interact with the rest of the team because they they just first interacted with Superman uh, last year when they had the Crisis on Infinite Earths obviously crossover three part series where he first and him and Lois first jumped in and were introduced to everybody all of us obviously and this is how obviously we knew knew about them well, obviously they they fought with the Flash to take down the the monitor the the negative monitor the evil version of him and obviously um take that take the book out of his hand so he couldn't obviously disrupt time and destroy the w multiple worlds obviously and um they all teamed up together black lightning the flash the legends of tomorrow green arrow obviously everybody was together three episode series obviously oliver queen unfortunately died and was brought back to life multiple times and they became the um the Spectre, I didn't like that at all. That, it was terrible. They just kept killing Oliver Queen and bringing it back. I was just like, it's over now. And then he's not even going to be used. It was a waste, obviously, anyways, because he was used as a Spectre. Now he's not obviously going to be him because there's no... I don't see them ever bringing him back. It's possible they could bring him back. I don't know with their team-ups that they have coming up next year. Maybe possibly before they, the, the Flash is over. Oliver Queen comes out of nowhere as a Spectre to say he's proud of Barry Allen, he's happy, he had him as a friend, obviously, and we'll see what happens with that, if uh, Stephen Amell comes back as Green Arrow in any of these crossover episodes, obviously as the Spectre, the, obviously the, he's like a spirit slash, kind of like a, um, I don't know, uh, I guess you can call him a enlightened person, but he, obviously, we'll see what happens with that, uh, the show was cool, but like I said, uh, some of the stuff, obviously, I was surprised about, um, Mostly, obviously, the episode was focused on the town being evacuated, everybody trying to save each other, the regular people, obviously, in Smallville, the citizens, trying to get to safety, um, and, um, uh, they had the whole ordeal where, um, uh, I thought it was, it was really silly how they were asking, where's Morgan Edge at, and then the next thing you know, he's literally, like, flies out of the sky, he appears, like, right behind them immediately, after uh, the DOD in Lois Lane's fa who father, obviously the general told them that he they need to go home. Everybody need to, needs to go home. It's not safe. And they're like, well, we need a, we need an explanation for this. Morgan Edge pops out of the sky after they uh, the the um, this reporter that was with them, uh, Lois, who's on the show, obviously her Chrissy. She said, where is he? Then he pops out right behind them. Then everybody flees and scatters because they're like, oh oh great, we're all gonna die. So I thought that was kind of like weird. I'm like. Well, yeah, obviously he's telling you to go home because you guys stay in, in, literally in the street, you're sitting ducks. Like, he literally started, um, uh, well, even, he didn't attack them, but, um, he, he obviously, um, he, he didn't attack them, but they did get attacked by his, um, his, uh, Kryptonian, obviously, army. There was, like, literally, like, lightning flashes coming at them, and glass was breaking, everybody was scattered and running away. That's basically what was happening, obviously, um. It was like sonic booms that they were doing when they were flying in the air, but they were actually weren't attacking anybody physically on the ground because they were flying in the air. But it was his energy waves. Like, sorry, I'm sorry. His he he launched a, a big huge energy field around him, and that's obviously what caused the damage. He didn't physically put his hands on any citizens of Smallville, obviously. Um, Morgan Edge. And like I said, I was surprised that um he didn't fight Superman. Out of ten, I give this episode a seven. It was good, but like I said, the, I was expecting obviously him and more him Superman and Morgan Edge to fight one more time. Possibly, um, I was not expect. I thought uh, John Henry Irons was gonna die, and uh, um, uh, I was trying to see what else. Um, I was uh, that was basically it. Um, I thought Leslie Lar was gonna get obviously um, break free again, and she was gonna be a problem. But all in all, that was basically it. Um, and I thought Morgan Edge's army was gonna be bigger. He had six people that he took over, and he, obviously his father and him really didn't need more people. That's what it looked like. Uh, that's why the things that I guess I can say I kind of give it my points off of. They uh, took over the body of six um, DOD soldiers and made them his basically a mini army of uh, in Kryptonians, obviously who he um, brainwashed to attack Superman. John Harry Irons, obviously the city of Smallville and its people and the citizens. And that's basically what happened. Um, 
like I said, we'll see what happens on, se on season two. Um, I, I guess they, I don't know if they took anything out of this season finale because of what was going on, but we'll see what obviously um, happens. Like I said, but those are the, some of the things that I, I, I didn't um, didn't anticipate um, in uh, the whole entire ordeal with um, Lois Lane jumping into Jordan's mind to obviously help him um, wake up out of his obviously um, dream state that he was in with uh, Zeta Rose controlling his mind was dangerous because she obviously went in there and got caught by him and she told him you'll never find him but I can show you where he's at obviously but that's not that gonna be the case and he eventually woke up and um uh, if it wasn't for Jordan's mom obviously inside his mind and his brother telling him that he loved him he obviously would have killed his brother because he had because Santa Rose grabbed him because he's in Jordan's body he had him suspended in the air and he was choking him and the gun that he used to shoot his brother with, because he's possessed by um, Morgan Edge's father, it didn't work. He he hit him, he fell back, then he got up, and then he basically charged at him, knocked the gun out of his hand, started punching him. Unfortunately, because of this, no one was there to help them, because everybody was occupied trying to stop Morgan Edge and save the city. So literally, there was nobody there to help them. And obviously, if Lois Lane was not able to get up, obviously, in time, or stop Jordan from... Uh, killing his brother, but obviously she was inside his mind, so she was able to stop him. But um, the funny thing is, is that Zeta Rose obviously didn't do anything to attack her. She instead uh, he took the opportunity to attack, obviously, um, George Jonathan because he was inside his brother's body, so he's able to attack him. He didn't really do anything. It was kind of like obviously something like Inception or whatnot, where but but um, something like that where he was in mind. She was she was he was in the mind of a. Uh, uh, Jordan, but he was seeing the memories of uh, Morgan Edge when his father was yelling at him, obviously, when he was younger. So it's kind of like a crossover and Inception and uh, Dreamcatchers and, like, with, uh, obviously, Nightmare on Elm Street, something like that, obviously. Oh, excuse me, Dream Warriors and similar to that. And that's basically it. Um, the show was okay. The episode was cool. I still liked it. But like I said, I was just expecting Morgan Edge to fight Superman again. And um, basically, um, obviously, um, I was also trying. I was also surprised that um, uh, John Henry Irons' daughter was alive at the end. But like I said, I was expecting obviously them to fight. His army was not as big as I thought it was. Um, I think he had more people with him a couple weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I don't remember. But it was okay. Um, the DOD couldn't really do anything with Morgan Edge and the rest of the people. They were just there to cause. Uh, they were there. They were there, they were scaring people. Obviously, people didn't like them being there. There's nothing they could do. Though. It was just evacuation. Help people get out the way. Um, and obviously, um, well, technically they were, they were, they were searching areas for Morgan Edge. They couldn't do anything to him and his army. Um, I also didn't like the fact that I didn't see those, uh, that's huge stockpile of Kryptonian weapons that the DOD has. I didn't see them being used at all. So I was very surprised on that. I was expecting the general to say, I got this secret weapon or something that could help you guys out. Because what happened was, and obviously they were stuck, that missile that they used on Morgan Edge weeks ago, which was the, um, used to hurt him before he became an eradicator it obviously hurt him but unfortunately Argus made that Lila and John Diggle obviously had their team and Argus made that but unfortunately that was the only one that they had and they, had, they didn't have no other time to obviously make another one up for them so they were basically um, stuck in the wind obviously um, stranded because they're like well we don't have another missile we can't stop him so I was like what happened to all those stockpile of, uh, of experimental Kryptonian weapons that you guys had how come you didn't use those? How come the um, the army, the DOD, didn't have them? And I was like, well, then I was I was asking that I was like, John Harry Irons is obviously Solar Flare could have been hit with Kryptonite to attack the army while Morgan Edge went to, was uh, being occupied by himself. Superman could have went to go attack Morgan Edge while obviously uh, John Harry Irons could have used the Kryptonite, obviously infused and possibly in his um, or some type of weapons and missiles that he because they were putting it together. To, in his hammer to attack them so Superman wouldn't be hurt because he would be out of the way but the guys who were um, attacking him who are obviously Kryptonians who were in, in, uh, taking over the body of the regular people, the citizens of Smallville they would have been hurt, they would have been taken down but that obviously didn't happen, they only used those weapons uh, once, uh, twice obviously weeks ago but they were not talked about or introduced in this whole entire uh, season finale episode which I thought was a surprise because they obviously could have used those obviously but that didn't that didn't happen at all obviously and um uh, that would act, could have helped obviously with them taking Morgan Edge down slowing him down also possibly uh taking those guys out a lot earlier than they expected obviously cuz after they after they were attacked um 
Superman John Henry Irons on that um, back end. It was like a like like a core quarry. It was a bunch of rocks everywhere. After they attacked him, um, they attacked them. Uh, they obviously he grabbed Jordan. So John Henry Irons grabbed Jordan after he knocked him out with the solar flare. Grabbed him, flew him back to Smallville. While he was doing that, Superman was obviously occupied, uh, distracting and moving away all of the Kryptonians, obviously, who were taking over the bodies of the regular citizens of Smallville, who, the, obviously, because they were, um, like I said, invasion of the body snatchers, they were taking over their bodies, he had to fly them away, so they were far away from the city, so they couldn't hurt people, so obviously, if they were able to use those weapons earlier, they could have took them down, he could have, um, Jordan could have been flown back to Smallville by his dad, and then they could have flown back to, obviously, stop Oregon Edge, but that didn't happen, obviously, so we'll see what happens, obviously, um, next season, season two, but that's basically the end of my review, and that's all I have to say about this, um, if you haven't watched the show, um, let me know why, if you are gonna watch it now, cause the whole entire season is on HBO Max, it was on there, it's been on there for weeks, and it looks like that's where it's gonna be, uh, you can also watch the episodes on the CW TV Network's the website, um, as well, and obviously you can get it on Amazon, I think it's like two, three dollars per episode, possibly, and that's basically it. Uh, most likely be on DVD in another two and a half months, probably. And that's basically it. Uh, that's all I have to say about this. Um, if, you, if you're if you interested in the team-ups, obviously, let me know what you have to think. When we have these future team-ups on these other shows on the network with The Flash, obviously, Legends of Tomorrow. Upcoming this fall, obviously, November going into February of 2022. I believe January is when we'll have the, the, um, the show back on, obviously. Um, more than likely, possibly February, we'll see, I don't know, but it could happen but next year, in 2022, around that time, mid-January, when it, yeah, obviously, so we'll see what happens, but that's it, it, and that's the end of my review, uh, thank you for watching, and that's all I have to say, in regards to Superman Lois, uh, season 1, episode 15, the season 1 finale, uh, which aired on August 17th, 2021, an episode title was called The Last Sons of uh, Krypton, and we'll see what happens, obviously, on the show, um, it, going forward, obviously, and with the crossovers that they're going to be t taking place on different shows next year with uh, them, the Flash, obviously, uh, Superman, and Lois, uh, Stargirl, Batwoman, and obviously Legends of Tomorrow. So we'll see what happens with that. Thank you again for watching my video, and that's all I have to say about this again. Uh, bye. Thank you.